this video, we are learning how to add and subtract time. So we're going to learn how to add and subtract time that's written in hours and minutes. So let's jump into example one. So in example one, we have six hours and 28 minutes plus eight hours and 35 minutes. And we stack them kind of like we stack normal addition. So what we're going to do is we're going to add down and we're going to carry when necessary. And I'll show you guys how to carry when we're dealing with hours versus minutes. So if we look at example one, first we're going to add the minutes. So we're going to start by adding eight plus five, which is going to give us 13. So we're going to put a three down here, and then we're going to have to carry this one up here. And now we're going to add down. So we're going to do one plus two plus three, which is going to give us six. So we get 63 minutes when we add the minutes. And now we're going to add the hours. So six plus eight is going to give us 14 hours. So right now we have an answer of 14 hours and 63 minutes. But 60 minutes is equal to an hour, right? So we're going to have to simplify the 63 minutes because we don't want our minutes to be greater than an hour. So what we're going to do is we are going to write this as 14 hours plus 60 minutes plus 3 minutes. And now we're going to change this 60 minutes into 1 hour. So this is really 14 hours plus 1 hour plus 3 minutes. And now we can combine 14 hours and one hour to get 15 hours as our hour part. And we have this three minutes part left over as our minute parts. So we get 15 hours and three minutes when we add these two together. Let's try example two. And for example two, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try it on your own. And then you can watch me work through it to make sure you've done it correctly. So we're going to start by adding the 5 and the 7 part of the minutes. So 5 plus 7 is going to give us a 12. So we're going to put a 2 down here and carry the 1. And we're going to add 1 plus 4 plus 2, which is going to give us a 7. So we get 72 minutes as our minutes part. And we're going to add our hours. 3 plus 2 is going to give us 5 hours. And again, 72 minutes is more than an hour. It's more than 60 minutes. So we're going to have to break that up. So we're going to write this as 5 hours plus 60 minutes, remember, because 60 minutes is an hour, plus that left over 12 minutes. And then we can rewrite 60 minutes as one hour. So five hours plus one hour plus 12 minutes. And now we can combine the hour parts. Five hours plus one hour is six hours. And we have this 12 minutes left over. So we get six hours and 12 minutes. So now let's go over two examples where we are subtracting. So in example three, we have nine hours and 54 minutes minus five hours and 38 minutes. So remember when we're subtracting, sometimes we have to borrow. So I'll show you guys how we can do that with minutes and hours. So we're going to start with the minutes. We can't subtract four minus eight because four is smaller than eight. So we're going to have to borrow from the five. So because we're just borrowing from the minutes, we're going to borrow how we always do. So we're going to change this into a four, and this is going to become a 14. And now we can subtract 14 minus eight, which is going to give us a six. And 4 minus 3 is going to give us a 1, so we get 16 minutes. And now we can subtract 9 hours minus 5 hours, which is going to give us 4 hours. So that one wasn't too bad. We get 4 hours and 16 minutes. So now we're going to go over one where we're going to have to borrow from the hours when we're subtracting the minutes. So because 14 minutes is less than 33 minutes, I'm going to start by borrowing from the hours. I'm not going to subtract the 4 minus the three in the minutes part. You can start like that, but I think it's easier to just start by borrowing from the hours. So we're gonna take away one hour from our seven hours, and it's gonna become six hours. And now we can't just add one to our 14 minutes because we have to add an entire hour, right? So remember that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So if we borrowed from the hours, we're gonna add 60 minutes to our 14 minutes. So 14 minutes is going to become 74 minutes. And now 74 is greater than 33, so we can subtract down. So 4 minus 3 gives us 1. 7 minus 3 gives us 4. So we get 41 minutes as our minutes part. And now we can easily subtract the hours. 6 hours minus 4 hours gives us 2 hours. So we get 2 hours and 41 minutes as our final answer. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to add and subtract time. Just remember to stack your problem similar to how we do when we're adding and subtracting normal numbers. And then you just have to remember how to borrow and carry when you're dealing with hours and minutes.